good evening one and all we welcome you all to the one week international symposium on research and publications of environment health well being and sustainable development 2023 commemorating azadi ka amrit mahotsav nation celebrating 75 years of independence and united nation sustainable development goals 2015 to 2030 as part of awareness and campaigns and india's g20 presidency and also world social uh, sorry world health week and world health month 2023 with the theme health for all in collaboration with sri holistic health foundation india and sri research institute center for art sciences and wellbeing before we start our session let's take the blessings of almighty with the blessings of almighty we shall continue with today's session today we have with us ravichandran ji assistant professor shri krishna group of institutions shri krishna engineering college and management studies from chennai tamil nadu and he would be delivering on occupational health ergonomics hr overview we welcome you ravichandran ji for your session and a happy new year to you and your family today uh, being tamil new year we express our greetings and warm wishes to all of the participants and also the speaker now you can unmute start your video and presentation good evening to all of you so right greatest opportunity to me revert up to some gaps uh, dr ravindra can you hear my voice yeah we can hear you but we can't see you yeah so sure. right. well, thank you yeah it's quite splendid opportunity to me given over a period of more than 25 months today as of now along with dr ravindra i am going with uh, with the hall you know like a boat travel it's a ship travel i would rather say coming with such an experience with uh, no gap of disconnect on this webinar podium is happening since quite some time now and uh, the dr ravindra would like to you know again repeat on his uh, terms of his lifeline how he is taking this in spite of all the difficulties he is passing through including me where i don't really give him the well supporting hand uh, because of various uh, sudden new ventures i got it. at last uh, primarily you know our relationship stands with all the hardships and difficulties of the technology driven where i am unable to really you know go with the worshiping you know <laughs> model of uh, my relevance on subjects though i would be really good in the blackboard or presentation on powerpoint all are fine very much fine but when i go into the net link and many more connects 
and you know it takes time so now you know uh, this international symposium research publication environment on health sustainable well being and you no know, um, sustainable uh, supports on development uh, the predominant doctor my you no know, ravindra takes and uh, since he has com- covered almost empty subjects every month and every week in every occasion every auspicious day he brings one other the new uh, topics concerns uh delivering very effectively along with our participants all i know dr uh, reddy sir uh, takkar ji uh, from you know jharkhand and you know uh, christiana she is always on board all the time every time so i would like to thank you once again and start with my presentation and you know i would like to re uh, admit my interest on this and go with this long association Well, now I would like to share my screen um, uh, to all of you, please. Uh, Doctor Ravi sir, uh, just share uh, all participants. Sir. One minute, and just pull my file. Okay, now I'll uh, bring my file up now. How to uh, share my screen, sir? Again, there is some. You can click on share screen button. Screen sharing has failed to start. Please try again later. Error code. Can you able to see on screen? Sir, no. Have uh, you opened the PPT file? Yeah. System. Yeah, it's already kept open. It is kept open. Okay. okay. Then now you can again click on share screen. it says uh, uh, screen sharing has failed to start please try again later error code okay then uh, i think you need to update your zoom client and no, it's all uh, i have given several presentation maybe i don't know where i'm getting stuck now um, as as and when the apps get updated na they wanted to deliberately make you you know cra- make the app crash or uh, lagging so that you get updated so maybe you have a version update you can check it otherwise you can close it join again aha uh-huh. maybe i should do that no that would be right way but just hold on
रविचंद्रन जी सी मैसेज वन मिनट व्हाट आई कैन यू कैन ट्राई वन सेकेंड who can share all participants who can start sharing and someone else to share all participants are given all participants so come very soon don't change any settings you just concentrate if you mess up with the settings again it will be a big trouble for you all settings are fine you just need to share stop focus mode blocks and show caption you need to click on share screen once uh, you have kept your ppt open and yeah, select the appropriate tab yeah my ppt is uh, active file that one minute just hold on i will go with a different approach on the okay while our speaker gets connected back today we are commemorating world chagas this is day and on this uh, world chagas this is day it's time to integrate chagas disease into primary health care and this is uh, you know uh, across the world 6 to 7 million infected worldwide and approximately 12000 diseases related to deaths every year is being caused and 30 to 40000 new cases every year are reported in 2023 chagas disease the suffering it causes and are calling for equitable access to health care and services for everyone affected by the disease so the theme for 2023 world chagas day is time to integrate chagas disease into primary health care so that universal care and surveillance start at the most decentralized level of the health system so it is often termed as silent and uh, you know silence disease as the infected majority have no symptoms or extremely mild symptom and there are approximately 6 to 7 million people infected with chagas disease worldwide with 12000 deaths every year ravichandra you can keep trying i am just engaging once your screen is on we will go ahead so this chagas disease is also known as american trypanosomiasis so it is a potentially life threatening illness caused by the protozoan parasite trypanosoma cruzi about 6 to 7 million people worldwide mostly in latin america are estimated to be infected with trypon trypanosoma 
Cruzi, the parasite that causes Chagas disease, it is transmitted by the triatomine bug. It is a vector bone as well as orally, foot bone through blood and blood products, mother to child congenital transmission, organ transplantation, and laboratory accidents. So, trypanosoma. Cruzy infection is curable if treatment is initiated soon after infection. In chronic patients, antiparasitic treatment can potentially prevent or curb disease progression and prevent transmission, for instance, mother to child infection. And up to a third of chronically infected people develop cardiac alterations and 1 in 10 develop digestive neurological or mixed alterations which may require specific treatment. Key strategies to prevent Chagas disease include vector control in Latin America, screening of blood, blood products and organs prior transfusion and transplantation and testing and treating girls, women of reproductive age, newborns and siblings of infected mothers without previous antiparasitic treatment. So as we all know, as I already mentioned, Chagas disease, also known as American trypanosomiasis, is a potentially life-threatening illness caused by protozoan parasite, parasite trypanosoma cruzi. About six to seven million people worldwide are estimated to be infected with T. cruzi. The disease is found in many endemic areas of 21 continental Latin American countries where it has been mostly transmitted to humans and other mammals by contact with feces of urine of triatomine bugs, vector both known as kissing bugs, among many other popular names, depending on the geographical area. Chagas disease is named after Carlos Ribeiro, Justiniano Chagas, a Brazilian physician and researcher who discovered the disease in 1909. Chagas disease was once entirely confined to It was entirely confined to continental rural areas of the region of the Americans, excluding the Caribbean islands. Due to increased population mobility over previous decades, most infected people now live in urban settings, and the infection has been increasingly detected in the United States of America, Canada, and many European and some African Eastern Mediterranean and Western Pacific countries. In Latin America, T. cruzi parasites are mainly transmitted by contact with faces, urine of infected blood sucking triatomine bugs. These bugs typically live in the wall of roof cracks of homes and period and uh, peridomicillary structures, such as chicken coops, pens, and warehouses in rural or suburban areas. Normally, they hide during the day and become active at night when they feed on animal blood, including human blood. They usually bite an exposed area of skin, such as face, hence its common name, kissing bug. And the bug defecates or urinates close to the bite. The parasites enter the body when the person instinctively smears the bug feces or urine into the bite and other skin breaks the eyes or the mouth. So T. cruzi can be
Yeah, Ravichandran, every time you disconnect, you will lose the co-host permission. So you need to request for co-host permissions every time you join. You are getting free, frequently disconnected. That is problem. You can now start your audio and video. Maybe you can restart your system. Uh, it will also solve the I, problem. I did that. Uh, now, uh, see, there is, you just leave me for one minute on screen, chair. Now I'm going into another place, trying to, it says clearly share screen. You can be on the uh, chat box, send you screenshot. One minute. Just leave me. No, you can try now. Yeah, now I'm now I'm just hold on. Because once you disconnect, you will uh, you lose the co-host permissions. Okay. So that is what happening. I gave almost four to five times to you. I need to pause my session and I gave you. If you have observed. Okay. Okay. I'll just try last time. No, we need to go you open your PPT in your system. I'll, uh, I'll uh, re shut, uh, restart it. I'll restart it. Okay. So T Cruzy can also be transmitted uh, by consumption of food and beverages contaminated with T. cruzi through, for example, contact with feces or urine of infected tritomine bugs or common opossums. This kind of transmission typically causes outbreaks with more severe case and mortality. Passage from an infected mother to her newborn during pregnancy or childbirth, blood or blood product transfusion from infected donors, some organ transplants using organs from infected donors and laboratory accidents. And Chagas disease presents in two phases. The initial acute uh, phase lasts for about two months after infection. During the acute phase, a high number of parasites circulate the blood in the blood, but in most cases, symptoms are absent or mild and unspecific. In less than 50% of the people bitten by a tritomine bug, characteristics first visible signs can be a skin lesion or a purplish swelling of the lids of one eye. Additionally, they can present uh, fever, headache, enlarged lymph glands, pallor, muscle pain, difficulty in breathing, swelling, and abdominal or chest pain. So during the chronic phase, the parasites are hidden mainly in the heart and digestive muscles. One to three decades later, up to a third of patients suffers from cardiac disorders and up to one in ten suffer from digestive, typically enlargement of the esophagus or colon, neurological or mixed alterations. In later years, the infection in those patients can cause destruction of the nervous system and heart muscles, consequent cardiac arrhythmias or progressive heart valve failure and sudden death. So the treatment to kill the parasite, Chagas disease can be treated with uh, benzinidazole and uh, nifotimox. Both medicines are fully effective in curing the disease if given soon after the infection at the onset of the acute phase, including the cases of congenial transmission, the efficacy of both diminishes. However, the longer a person has been infected and the adverse reactions are more frequent at older age. So treatment is also indicated for those in whom infection has been reacted, for example, due to immunosuppression and for patients during the early chronic phase, including girls and women of uh, childbearing age before or after pregnancy to prevent congenial transmission. 
infected adults, especially those with no symptoms, should be offered treatment because antiparasitic treatment can also prevent or curb disease progression. In other cases, the potential benefits of medication in preventing or delaying the development of Chagas disease should be weighed against the duration of the treatment up to two months and possibly adverse reactions occurring in up to 40% of treated adult patients. So benzene, dazol, and uh, nifutimox should not be taken by pregnant women or by people with kidney or liver failure. Nifutimox is also contra contraindicated for people with a background of neurological or psychiatric disorders. Additionally, specific treatment for cardiac or digestive or neurological manifestations may be required. So how do we control? Depending on the geographical area, World Health Organization recommends the following approaches to prevention and control. Spraying of, uh, of dwellings and surrounding areas with residual insecticides. Yeah, Ravichandran ji, your screen is visible. You can start your audio and video. Ravichandran ji. Can you hear me? You can switch on your audio and video. Your screen is visible. Now screen is viewable. Yeah, yeah. Please continue. My entire presentation slide is visible now, correct? Yeah, work environment of today. Fair. Okay. Um, you can uh, make it full screen. Yeah, no fine. As of the technology where we are into today, um, no, it makes as a practical deviation in our life. In spite of we take all the efforts. Starting from my own experience for the past 15 minutes, you know, sweating out, every individual is waiting over on screen appearing. The health of our situation changes often and often in spite of all the difficulties we pass across. The experience of now. It's all, we are in the limelight called World of work. I call it the statement as world of work. We all the time work, work, work. Even our going to rituals becoming a work today. Everybody runs to temple, everyone runs to their church prayers, rituals without knowing consciously. So this is a kind of situation in the long man we brought into our life of today and our health has become greater agony and quite tragical at last I would like to say. Please read the statement of the slide. We work most our full work time during regular business hours mostly traveling or mind traveling, professional traveling in this current scenario. But please read the slide. 
I am going to give you elaborate experiences of what I have come across, but rather just talk about the topics of HR. I lived in the place of Delhi for more than 12 years, including my experience in Rajasthan. And like Dr. Ravindra traveled abroad across various countries, I never happened to as an HR man. I only embraced to only match with you know, uh, India exchange. I don't know. But never happened to go out of country. But I lived with a lot of uh, international people, Europeans, uh, Scandinavians, rogue countries, Sweden, Finland, Scotland, uh, no, uh, Switzerland, uh, uh, Philip, uh, no, uh, uh, like you know, Europe countries. And, uh, Sweden is my headquarters. And uh, coming to the US, yes, I have seen several US people coming to my office, stay, go, come, go, Chinese from Asia, Taiwan, Japanese, all were from the Asia because those time in year 2000 uh, period, one the MNCs entered into India by giving a government or a widely opened by Narsimhara regime period and Dr. Marmon Singh who opened up. Those time we happened to work very tremendous work, kind and highly pressured you know, mind of situation those times. But today we feel it's a beautiful experience. But during the time of tenure you are working, all the time you feel bad, bad, bad. But after passing through of those periods, today you will feel happy, happy, happy. Every bad is becoming unhappy. Every sour taste of becoming a sweetness of today. Only after passing through, but when we work on those particular time of stipulated given, we don't feel it's really happy. This is the mind maturity we need to develop in our current environment of life. Is what I would so, culturally, we need to come along to bifurcate or overcome health relevant since the month is declared as a World Health Day, Health Month. Sorry. Our situation, work environment, ultimately six main types happening within HR. All the way across, I do talk in general of my open overall experience. I'm coming to specific slide now. Please have a look at this. There are six methods of work environment, which makes sure if you really go along dynamically, confidently, enthusiastically or you know the way what we are passing through today we are keeping cool Dr. Ravi is cool myself also experience with coolness what to do because we are coming on a uh, live podium live podium it is not physical appearance anything happened power cut down you know not like situation we are on the internet dependent the technology changes. Everything is getting updated. So look at it, different types of work environment, traditional, open, activity-based, agile, encouraging, dynamic approach, neighbor, neighborhood base. We always go with the pair to pair, connect to connect, neighbor to neighbor, shoulder to shoulder, or else we cannot survey. We can survey, but different aspect not to touch upon, but in HR subjects, one has to go with a neighborhood approach, peer, subordinates, all that. So next slide. What is the psychologically we are getting disturbed today in the health ground? We all pass through from the work of world of work. I call by again work connects, not world of work. This entire universe is purely working on work, work, work. Even we sleep becomes work today. Because we don't afford to sleep what the way we feel. 
one can live with one rupee the the same one can live with the lakhs of amount it's not purely a mind cultural phenomenon as doctor said in my last discussion very important how to live your life rather going with a fighting a cross war i'm going with the recruitment and hiring the point everybody we have come across recruitment we have come across with a lot of experiences of training development and we have interacted with the employee employees and company cultures we have developed along with living our stress is becoming a very bad you know, status of life in spite of we are good in everywhere every direction everything is a high expertise of skill today we are having a biting experience biting experience what what is biting no back pain a company there are many politically happening politics they call it but in my knowledge what do i feel is uh, there is no politics mean only in the political party today i used to say there is no politics in the place it's only political party Congress, BJP, or whatever the political party. Rest of the places, even in our home, are happening in the relations side. Companies, corporate, central government, state government, everywhere politics, politics. They say, "What is no backbiting practice?" I will tell you six months of one pilot exercise conducted by one of the biggest company in the world. I will explain you later in my next slides. Now let's go to the manage. employee benefits from the hr aspects please read the slide carefully these all i am going to explain you step by step and maximum take 35 minutes of so it not beyond even less right there is a exercise conducted by gallup international my employment i have come across gallup is one of the big worlders World the biggest experiment they conduct with their chart. Any great workplace and flexible to employ work life needs and encourage work life balance by offering flexible schedules, providing generous paid time off, accommodating individual requests, needs, supportive environment. Our health is becoming bad. You know, thirty-five age man. Having a blood pressure, yes, blood pressure. In my daily experience, keep aside. Four years ago, I went to Delhi. I went back to my known people. I went to certain regions for you know stay there around eighty days continuously. It was sometime sixty uh, sixty plus days uh, around four years ago. One of my friends. Friend passed away because of heart attack at the age of thirty-eight. Thirty-eight, he passed through, and age the reason is heart attack. And he was showing his photograph, and the boy, thirty-eight years old, I call him the boy because I am fifty plus. He is a thirty-eight-year-old man, bald head. In Delhi, bald head appearing like a fifty-five, sixty plus minimum of fifty-five plus bald head passed away, heart attack, had a be a diabetes. Like I was shocked to hear it happens in the cosmopolitan area. So why it's all he is doing you see. In the company, for part-time business, he is doing some, uh, no, agency with some insurance companies for making more benefits of money to earn to buy home because he got married and uh, eight years money making, unable to afford with the current salaries. Wife is working, he is working. Again, part-time employed. Sometimes Saturday, Sunday, you go and run away for money. This is the life of today. The 
coming to the corporate within the company what is work environment we all talk of all the time positive negative effect on our day we all the time pass through communication giving a you know a gossip or something talk about one or the other way or make others unhappy restless and make his employable employment is always questionable at the risky point any moment he will lose employment what will happen he is all the time in trouble of any time to go for a next job all the time he is carrying his cv in hand all the time he is having his cv in hand in a mobile phone sending it to nokri.com monster.com all monsters all the time is looking for his own safety this is a condition what is the way we can take positive environment within corporate there are seven companies i don't deny many companies are really good compared to days are behind everywhere there are goods i have come across several experiences of goods very less failures or bad my uh, success i would rather call it by success by understanding more of failures success by understanding more of failures or i got failed a few times more times no doubt about no deny but it was also a success to me to learn this is what the other one has to accept it. no the choice we have we cannot have our own choice to look up around and get them around and get connected to club too so uh, as a corporate coming to back the atmosphere of the employment place should need to be relaxed productive more clean that was it is quite important every excellence is expected honest communication sense of humor is very important all the time keep the face long rigid cluster to understand something else in the middle of the job everybody has got their own problems without a problem a man who lives meets either he is dead or anesthesiated on you know paralyzed the man who is not having any trouble is paralyzed paralytic attack now with the paralytic attack people like us people like me should know how to go with it in spite of all the difficulties yes the clouds always comes goes comes goes when you look for an employee in the system the company to be very careful choosing staff invest more physical environment listen and sharing all the time like people somebody used to say me ravi you keep talking participants please anybody wants to raise their hand please come in raise your voice or whatever dr ravindra will allow you to speak but uh, nevertheless i'm talking uh, no but precisely i would like to say i talk long i can continuously give a lecture for 2 to 3 hours 5 to 7 hours with a gap of 5 minutes 10 minutes or what whatever at the same time i can also listen i can also listen 70 hours continuous without even opening my mouth i have come across various lectures various communication various programs anybody in the capacity of giving me an happy opportunity to listen and very tremendously accepting of listen listen and share listen is need to be higher set 
So listening and sharing, communication, talking, it's very important to balance your life. Work life is not alone working, listening. Maybe at home you will have your different coin of fix, head and tail. At home always differ because you are very, very individually responsible at home. But socially, when you come into, particularly in your work life, health, management, very careful, very pro professional you need to approach. Otherwise, certainly you will have health-related, occupational health problems. Show appreciation and support. Every time you need to support others of your colleagues, say thank you. Very good, excellent. Thumbs up. Good morning may not be necessary to say by words, but raising your thumbs up all makes good. Okay. Next slide. Communication, as I said, along with your boss, essential. Listen to everyone's ideas, each employee's reason of their experiences. Recognize hard work, show trust to maintain the health relations. Since health is important, anybody continuously taking a leave or absentism happens in a company, it is not reason of falling in sick. It's a falling of mind disturbance. Something may happen. The man-made environment is so bad of the current ergonomics given to you the best place to sit, blessed chair to best sit, best technology is given, artificial is always behind you. What is called? Artificial intelligence is coming behind you. Google is all the time catching you. And the LinkedIn is always living along with you. Facebook, you are liking, sending dislikes and 10,000 likes and dislikes. You are following up. TikTok, you are doing. YouTube, all the layers behind you are living with it. You don't want to disconnect any of them even for five minutes. Oxygen can be stopped. But TikTok is banned in India today. Maybe it is saving us or YouTube all the time. You run on the screen and you are doing a dance on the Carnatic or Kathakali or Bharatanatyam on the smartphone with the two fingers. You got two fingers on dancing on the, your smartphone. You don't move around on seats. You don't go morning walks. You don't play outside. You don't move around anywhere. You go to cinema halls or come in place. Perhaps you sit on some chairs, watch, and using your two fingers, neck down, neck down, watching screens, dancing by two fingers. Good. This is what the ergonomics is given us, all the technology, but we don't live with the uh, no, open air life. We don't look at sun. We don't look at moon. We don't look at birds, we don't look at trees, we don't look at wells, we don't look at rivers, we don't look at sun, no. What not? What not? We don't look at anything and we want a healthy life. What her? Live a happy life for minimum 20 person, come out of home, go, go. The place where you never walk once in a year, twice in a year. Some people go trekking. In Chennai, there is a trekking club. Every third month they go. I don't ask you to go around trekking or trekking. But live a life that you can move around. Place to place within your city or out of city, urban city, suburban city. That is it. These are very important for health management. Your occupational health always comes behind you. Eat yoga, don't yama, something, learn. It's very easy learning. Raja yoga, dhyana. Anybody is having an opportunity, please. Okay, I'll go with the next slide. Uh, naturally, you employees have been content at work in the HR side. 
reflect his overall personality and growing a human being. This is an important individual one has to plan it accordingly to point others, individuals, systems, management, HR functionaries, employment, work culture, anything. Next. An employee as a HR over you, always I want to talk about searching an employee. I give a presentation on employability skill in spite of they have completed it, in spite of their MSW places. Even today in my class hours, I talk to them, every HR people doing MBA first year, second year, they do study like an academy. They don't take it as a professional study. They are like a bookish. Either bookish or note-taking or copywriting or something cut-paste. Control all the delete and cut-paste. Every moment, fight or flight. Control all the delete in computer. Life. So, when you look for a job, having a clear goal set, transparency, flexibility, room of opportunity, sometimes you happen to work in a disturbed place, you need to have an ample opportunities given to the other side to understand because nobody is wanting to kill you. Do you kill others? Or do you want to eat them? No. It was not necessary, not planned. But happen to happen to other, happening to other, it is happening to you. It's not any program. It's a quite coincidence here. It's a quite coincidence. The nature is coming with us not by only compulsion. It is a coincidence. It's a set of circumstances. So room for growth, supporting social initiatives. Well, okay. I'll go to the next slide, sir. Formal growth of the company. This category I include motivations are important, backbiting, gossip, sorry, gossip, rumor, social media. We always live with the social media. The COVID has made a social media is a strong success of failure disease. Makes our life complete, eaten up. The social media of COVID made the world Bank, boomerang, made us like miserable. Many families lost their dearness. Communication, recognition, rewards, management style. These all need to be very important in health environment to manage within the corporate system, management and professional organization. Yes. Purely certain new learnings, training is also important. Well, okay. What is your place called occupational health? Occupational health, ergonomics are important. Occupational health by seeing the person like traveler on road every day, 30 kilometers by two wheeler car. The car driver, the driving, self-car driving makes your leg suddenly painful on traffic roads, on using your clutch and gears and clutch and gears and accident. You travel like a boat traveler. You are sitting inside of the car, but driving like a duck in the water. Your face appears cool and your face is cool because you are running air conditioner but you are using like a duck in, inside the water. The duck, how you know? It's so cool on top of the water but how strenuously it's working under the water, you know? Under the water, the duck, look at it under the water. It's like supposed to take bad run, mad run 
or else it cannot flow. The entire body above water level is so cool, no movement and stable appearance and traveling, but under the water, its legs are highly painful experiment. Experience it is passing through. So our life of work health is need to be, though we look for everything successful, but we are extremely working, which as a human being need to take little consciously attend that goal to reduce it over a period of time and intelligently apply what to make money or what to make health reasonably good or what to make life fun and happy, fun and frolic. So ergonomics and occupational I explained you well. What is the workplace excellence? Please read the slide. You would easy understanding. Excellence is defined as a condition of surpassing some standard expectation. HR practitioner as health management within the system of you need to achieve others reaches. Then he becomes a successful man in HR aspects. Right. Creativity, trade, health life balance, all are coming behind and behind, which are similar to similar of each other. But at last, comfort zone is quite important to manage your life active after you sleep. Every night when you sleep, you should feel 10 out of 7 is good, 10 out of 6 is good, 10 out of 5 is good, 10 out of 7 is good, 10 out of 8 is good today. Like that, you can say and go <laughs> sleep or what? I want to finish the slides quickly. There is a backbiting gossiping which I told you I will give you. Six months, there is a company conductor backbiting. It's made a lot of changes in the health, occupational health changes. But this is the, uh, no, uh, I would call it by empirical research. It's called empirical research on the random basis on the availability data. Absentism got reduced, minimized mind uh, stresses, sick leaves have become reduced, and attentive employment areas are improved. The bottom line is that practicing good ergonomy makes happy and productive. The bottom line of conducting the best practice, becoming best behavior of business. In. These two points are pointed. Nothing special, but still you can read this. Slide. I am allowing that. Next. Everywhere there are company hierarchically, we fight across one to the other, next to next, all kinds. So, group, employees, subordinates, peers, everything is in the set of systems at home, wife, spouse, relationship, children, growing, growing. Everything becomes changes and changes often and often. Everything changes. Everything changes. Third year, you look at it, downline, your son could be in the age of 18 or 14, and today he could be passed through the teenage period getting into the study of period, professional study, everything changes. We cannot expect the previous time of six standard boy behaves at your place. It's a den of line. There are three adult in the line, or father, son lines. He cannot be a cub all the way across. So fight starts, life starts, disturbance starts, many things starts. Your age becoming growing and growing, all well, okay. Gender sensitization, admission, training, all are quite important. Your HR skill set, all fine. I'm giving you a very a slight touch on this. Next slide. Okay. How the pay gap persists? There are certain other issues which is relating to women health aspects. 
male health aspects which are differing one by one and look at it a linked this is a history and track sheet of post covid period i have not made big changes but many males are occupationally coming in higher side women have reduced getting into employment post covid but anyway it is reduced it may raise up but as of now occupational reason many reasons women becoming lesser in employment environment of today well psychological effects many disabilities have come many things have run off many of them fighting across flighting off without giving any possible reasons not trying to bridging between connect and connect psychological disturbance stresses happens health becoming paranoid earning debt disturb quite much psychological effects which i have explained you all i have explained again putting the similar point well the video i can show you but little later i will finish up the slide psychologically hostility unfriendliness depression everything passing through mental health risk factors our civility respect we lost within our system especially i want to see all the tendency and hr dialogue fam but both are quite important we disturb one or the other place and things would change hoping for the best always what i want to tell you very important slide of today this is the image please read it carefully keep aside those words are given but the slide image read if i quit now i will soon be back to where i started if i quit now i will soon be back to where i started and when i started i was desperately wishing to be where i am now we work very badly we work very strenuously we start something we as a students work very hard we as a profession very work hard in middle we run away fly fight go with problems and again we may start and where you are today you may be anxious to touch on those the place where you are today so do understand if you are a student even the professional you may feel little sad about it the statement is so important happen to live again you are anxiously looking the place where you are today because of you left some time back next visibility of employment long term association good coordination pleasant communication all you need to pick a lot open mind culture job performance is all need to be assessed by hr management system social connect i always suggest don't go to much available platform social connect which is having huge amount of forward messages if you can create your own message and forward it well happy quite good anybody sending a forward message and i always feel so sad does not have his own brain and he always send a forward message and yeah thank you very much thank you very much i would like to complete this session if time permits i will leave those video for one minute to run and can complete this and thank you so much and expecting you to more participation in this webinar program dr ravindra dawan who is conducting so uh, 
a well pitched you know i am associated with him long time now and we will be going with the strength to strength and shoulder to shoulder so ravi is a professor working in a college along with my sources of supporting to various and apart uh, hr is my skill areas anybody is keen to communicate associate through dr ravindra call me at any given time i am available thank you so much Yeah, participants, if you have any queries, you can unmute yourself and ask, clarify, or share your feedback. Yeah, Ravichandran ji. Uh, ah, yes, sir. Uh, so, would you like to talk uh, the impact of uh, ergonomics on health, specifically? As of anybody is uh, raising question, would also be making me to somewhat relevant. Yes, what you say is correct. the impact on health one has to talk in general but anybody is having occupational health issues in the podium of today any of the students having a mental stress disturbance diverted mind not able to concentrate i can give a little experiences of me and explain them how easily i can control your mind for next few minutes i can do such kind of an exercise but the impact yes on occupational health i was talking to my students the students of today have this amount of stress and we able to decide and able to pass through their life with it i this making them come to 5 years 8 years ago a lot of change how to pass through this impact is only a matter of time we can't design the design we cannot create a design of design and new designs for making them to have the because articulating of any design it may not be necessary to match him up 
or maybe not possible to go with the consistency of the continuity, no consistency or continuity of the action plan. It requires minimum two, three months to understand the impact go long. So gradually it has to, but at the same time, he has to go with the kind of plan, live a life first, turn to a different direction, minimum two hours a day, one hour a day, that will have every occupational health relevance. This is the impact. Nobody is wanting to change. Nobody is wanting to keep their current active going on. They want to carry it and want to have a healthy, happy life. Divert yourself. It will simply change the impact. You will see it by 90 days. I am sure by 100th day, you will change. You will have the impact easily manageable, occupationally acceptable. This is the impact. This is the program. If you progressively plan minimum 90 days, 3 months, 100 days is the good day. 100th day, you will really feel happy. Change in your health. But in case you don't do any change in your system, the impact is paramount. It has to, it will amount up more or it will be status, standing. This is what I feel about the impact. What you are asking, the solution, what I can give. Anybody wanted to raise question? Please raise hand. Dr. Ravindra Sir will provide share value. Anything else? Is this okay? What I explained? Okay, friends, if you have any queries, you can feel free to share. Yes, sir.
Can you hear me, Dr. Ravindra? Yeah, yeah. That, uh, one research being conducted by, okay, anyway, let's say that one video I have, and let's see, some problem is going, and I don't want to get stuck. You can go with your continuity. please. No, no, that's fine. Actually, I was uh, waiting for you to complete that. Because today also we the, we plan to discuss on ergonomics. So anyway, uh -huh. you, I think uh, you didn't take up it in detail. So that's why I asked you. So more, well, yeah, ergonomics is more again related to occupational health and ergonomics more subject to the you no know, uh, workplace environment where seatings, uh, placing, air and uh, illumination. Those are more ergonomics, yeah. but uh, no. Along with the ergonomics, I covered up somewhat with the health concerns because the health month <laughs> gave me a title. Yeah, that's careful. what actually when we talk about uh, world, you know, especially in context of health month, a lot of musculoskeletal disorders exactly. because of this, uh, you know, ergon uh, uh, improper positioning of our body. Yes. yes. So, exactly. I thought you would be focusing on that aspects as well. That I can cover up in a title itself, ergonomics. Today I have covered ergonomics along with the health. Mm -hmm. Because the, uh, no, mus uh, everybody passing through muscular issues, relevance. The person who is Driving daily minimum 20 kilometers, 30 kilometers more with a large amount of traffic signals, he has got the bad pain. Unable to not only driving, driving alone, not. even when sitting in office, also for hours together, if uh, the chair is of not adequate height, the table is of not adequate height, you know, that will, that will also impact a lot. Very important. Seats are quite important. I mean, individual to individual differs. Yeah, so again, because the height, the height the chair differs. Yes. Somebody would be taller, someone would be higher on certain body physique. And you know, a lot of, uh, you no, know, the Godrej is a manufacturing, they have a design called, a brand name called Ergo, Ergo Godrej. Mm. They that brand name called Ergo Godrej. If they has come up with their own chairs and uh, rolling chairs, uh, no, seating chairs, students' chairs. Students are having neck pain. He is wearing neck band. Mm. My yes. son is wearing yeah. a neck band. Yeah. So this is all because of, you know, these gadgets, holding gadgets for longer time and uh, making them uncomfortable. They don't know as long as this uh, gadgets, they are immersed in the, submerged in the gadgets. Na? But uh, later on, when they just, uh, uh, you know, realize it, it is too late because uh, while we are watching something, we don't feel that. I mean, we feel that, but still we are distracted. And once when we are off that, then we feel pain and, uh, you know, due to prolonged uh, position or exposure, again, there is a lot of uh, muscle and skeletal disorders that happens. So that's why this uh, uh, straining of nerves or uh, muscles, tendons, this will again lead to these disorders. Exactly. 70% of the people in the world of today, especially corporates and world life, social life, cosmopolitan, keeping their necks down. There is a photograph image taken by Google some years, just one year, two years behind. I know most of the human being necks are down, not straight appearing, looking, because all the time they are on the screens. Yes, that neck is always down. The image was so shocking. I was seeing one China image. Everybody neck is down. Railway station, bus, place, train travel, 
small city parks there are different different images in nobody looking straight faces makes up with the person yeah so yeah participants if you have, don't have any queries then we'll move on there are few appreciation messages in chat box and uh, uh, share your ppt to email address so that we can share to participants okay. Uh, okay, then uh, if no one has queries, then uh, we shall conclude it here. So thank you, Rav Chandranji, for joining us and we wish you once again, you and your family members, happy Tamil New Year. Thank you so much and I reciprocate your say. Thank you so much to all the members, participants of today. Uh, raise voices sometimes we always seem to happy because the dr ravis are giving a time to share sharing is an important experience important experience many of the faces are good to look at even number of things very important somebody sharing their own communication experiences will share between everyone and others benefit thanks so and i would like to thank dr ons uh, ravindra ursage since these uh, as he said the ergonomics i can cover up with a, a good number of images how okay. one should work how one should sit all images i can provide you yeah. along with uh, you no know, place to places that to that what ergonomics i'll take the top no problem and all the very best with your webinars and i would also be Great part to come with the offline, online, wherever, whatever uh, forms coming up in next nearest to this. Thanks. Thank you uh, once again. We wish you all the success and uh, look forward for more sessions in the future. So, yeah, with this, it, uh, we'll move on and complete uh, today's commemoration. We were talking about. Uh, Chagas disease. So we'll look at So before that, we request everyone to quickly fill up the poll. The feedback form has been raised in the form of polls. We request everyone to quickly fill up the feedback form and yeah we will uh, continue the prevention of uh, this chagos chagas disease so depending on the geographical area world health organization recommends the following approaches to prevent and control like spraying of dwellings and surroundings areas with residual insecticides and house improvements and house cleanliness to prevent vector infestation personal preventive measures such as bed nets good hygiene practices in food preparation transportation storage and consumption development of context contextualized information education and communication activities for different actors and seniors about preventive measures and surveillance tools one health approach screening of blood donors testing of organ tissue or cell donors and receivers 
access to diagnosis and treatment of people with the medical indication or recommendation to do antiparasitic treatment, especially children and women of childbearing age before pregnancy and screening of diagnosis screening of uh, sorry screening of newborns and other children of infected mothers without uh, previous antiparasitic treatment to do early diagnosis and provide treatment so the medical care cost of patients with chronic cardiac digestive neurologic or mixed forms of the disease has been calculated to be 80% higher than the cost of spraying residual insecticide to control vectors and prevent infection. So first level of care, primary health care with its uh, different uh, health professionals and in interaction of other health levels has a key role in increasing current detection, treatment, follow-up and notification. Assessment of the available diagnostics, including rapid serologic or Chemiluminescence test, molecular biology test, and most cost effective algorithms per territory is fundamental to increase detection. Promotion of bio biomedical, psychosocial, and environmental studies of the determinants and risk factors of Chagas disease is basic to propose more effective multidimensional approaches to prevent and control disease. National information systems to monitor the number of acute and chronic cases and the active transmission routes are essential. So far, six out of 44 countries with diseases, uh, disease cases have been implemented. So since the 1990s, there has been successful intergovernmental initiatives in parasite and vector control in America, leading a substantial reduction in transmission and increased access to diagnosis and antiparasitic treatment. The risk of transmission by blood, blood products, transfusion decreased sharply through the universal screening in all blood banks of the continental Latin American countries and progressively in other countries and continents. World Health Organization recognized Chagas disease as neglected tropical diseases, NTD in short, in 2005. This facilitated a greater recognition as a public health problem on the internal scene. On international scene, it also facilitated to fight against misinformation, the lack of social demand, and the weak political commitment to face the causes and problems caused by the disease, as well as insufficient scientific research and development related with prevention, detection, and comprehensive care, including early diagnosis, comprehensive treatment, psychosocial follow-up, information, education, and communication tools. In May 2019, following addition by the second day, uh, by the 72nd World Health Assembly, the World Chagas Disease was established to be celebrated on 14th April, the date in 1909, when Carlos Chagas diagnosed the first human case of disease in a two-year-old girl, uh, girl called Bernice. The NTD roadmap includes five Chagas disease objectives verification of the interruption of vectorial domiciliary transmission, verification of interruption of transfusion transmission, verification of the interruption of transmission by organ transplants, elimination of congenital, uh, congenital uh, Chagas disease, 75% coverage of antiparasitic treatment to, of the eligible population to attain the goal of elimination of Chagas disease transmission, and provide health care for infected people or people suffering from the disease, both in endemic and non-endemic territories. World Health Organization aims to increase networking at the global level and reinforce 
regional and national capacities. So with this, we shall conclude the commemoration of World Chagas Disease Day. 2023. Hope everyone has filled the feedback form. If not, you can immediately log in and log out so that uh, you can access the feedback form and uh, finally today is the last day we are concluding the symposium so thank you everyone for joining us uh, since one week we had uh, in detail discussed on various aspects of uh, research uh, from basics of research to publications and as well so actually this was also in commemoration of uh, a conference which is being organized by uh, us with collaboration. So we have on 29th, we are organizing conference every year, two times. Uh, we organize by annual uh, students conference na at national level. So this year also, we are organizing our uh, conference that is sixth Pureth conference environment conference that is being organized at uh, both offline and online so in collaboration with the Pureth foundation and Jawaharlal Nehru architecture and fine arts university and various other collaborators including various universities like Sri Padmavati Mahila Vishwa Vidyalayam, uh, it's a women's university from Tirupati and G. Narayanamma Institute of Technology and Sciences. Uh, it's also a women's uh, college, engineering college. And Sarojini Naidu, Vanita Mahavidyalaya, uh, that is also women's college, which is run by Usmania University Alumni Association. And uh, we have other collaborators like Global Information Technologies, Renexa, and the Center for Environment and Development and uh, Vishwa Vasudha Educational Society and Ishwara Prasada, Prasada Ayurveda Alayam and along with us, Sri Holistic Health Foundation India and Sri Research Institute, Center for Art Sciences and Wellbeing. So we have, uh, it, it is being organized on 29th April 2023 from 9am to 5.30 pm. It's only for students and research scholars for presentations. Participants, anyone can register and participate online and offline. We are providing uh, free registration and free uh, refreshments and lunch. Uh, it is a very big auditorium of 600 plus participants. Can We can adopt, uh, accommodate offline as well as, you know, un online is anyway unlimited. So you can register. Uh, we also request you, uh, we have already circulated the flyer and joining link, registration links to you. And in the groups, you can share it with the students and they will get a also opportunity not only for presentations, but their papers will also be published in an ISBN book, which will be released on the same day of conference, where uh, uh, there would be, if you need a hard copy of that, then you need to pay 250 rupees as towards, uh, or whatever it may be, the actual printing cost that will also be useful for your PhD work and uh, 
various other uh, you know requirements so otherwise if you need a soft copy no need to pay i all the registration presentation is free and if you need hard copy then you need to pay the actual printing cost so we request everyone to circulate this information to all the students and research scholars uh, basically for making presentation you should be uh, affiliated uh, as a student to some organization so whether you are regular student distance student that doesn't matter but even scholars research scholars are also considered as students so we have extended this opportunity to the research scholars as well so kindly share with them and uh, you can join uh, those others can join register and uh, join as participants both offline and online we are welcome it is being organized uh, i mean hosted in hyderabad telangana so if you can travel all across uh, from your places to hyderabad you can come and attend otherwise also it's available on the zoom platform on the same link as you all know the same link we are using for all the events so you can join with the same link at 9 o'clock and uh, you can attend till uh, 5:30 and certificates are also issued based on the attendance so one day certificate along uh, uh, you have to register for that and uh, you need to attend and uh, provide feedback feedback will be taken in the zoom platform at the end of the conference or in the middle we'll see as per not uh, like this because they will have series of paper presentations so we will take morning afternoon and the evening once three times we will take the feedback and uh, based on the attendance and feedback registration will be issuing e certificates and uh, those who come they will be getting uh, these uh, certificates they can collect there itself their book uh, and their paper publication they can physically present those who are unable to come they can have the soft copy of certificate as well as you know those who are students and research scholars those who are presenting they can get their uh, soft copy and uh, as usual uh, we are also giving cash awards last year also we gave uh, to all the presenters in fact to not to discourage we have given cash awards to all the uh, parts uh, presenters and also to the top uh, three presenters in each category we also gave awards also uh, cash prizes that all details are available in the website so we request you to encourage everyone uh, anyone anywhere from india they can register and join online or offline so we request everyone to circulate this information to everyone and contribute to the environment and this year the theme is traditional knowledge systems so you can uh, prepare paper and present those who are students and research scholars and others along with students and research scholars can register and attend students include school students also students who are studying in school are also eligible last time we got one young uh, presenter who is uh, you know i think uh, is from 5th class i think but the way he presented even a phd scholar student present it was a very excellent presentation and he got uh, the first prize no he he was he is just studying in fifth class but uh, you can watch the recording and you yourself will appreciate the kind of preparation he has done and the way he has presented marvelous you know he was the best presenter that is where we have to overcome challenges in spite of you know pursuing or completed phd also we are not able to present but he had collected all the information and very you know in all aspects he was very much technically scientifically 
and including presentation also he prepared very well uh, and uh, he visited he is from tamil nadu he visited that um, mangroves in tamil nadu and uh, he got pictures he himself took pictures uh, by visiting and it was really a commendable effort by that young boy so where there is a will there is a way where there is dedication and commitment definitely will go beyond our uh, this thing so we, you also do encourage even if they are uh, studying in school also no problem they can also participate and we have different categories also awards also so we request everyone to share this information pass on this information to everyone and uh, thank you everyone for joining us see you all tomorrow uh, at the same time take care good night before leaving fill up the feedback form thank you everyone thank you.